We're going around the world today. It's time for a virtual model railroad show, and I gotta tell you, Australia came out and represented pretty well in this one. Hey everybody, my name's Jimmy. Welcome to Coffee and Trains. Today I am drinking some Kauai coffee. Thank you for telling me how to pronounce that. If you want to tell me what kind of coffee you are drinking, and you can put it in the comments below and be featured just like these guys right here. Also, if you want your model railroad featured on the Virtual Model Railroad Show, you can send the pictures and video to the email in the description below. Cheers, guys! We're going to get things rolling here with Matthew Plyler. He sent me a couple photos of his layout. He's got some Bachman Easy Track on there. Has a nice little setup. I'm not quite sure if he's done with it or if he's still working on it right here. But he's got a couple nice things going on right here. It has the ballasting going on. Great job, Matthew. This is looking good. Keep up the good work. Next up, we have Danny B. Now, Danny B has a NASCAR YouTube channel, but he says he also really enjoys model railroading and sent in some photos and videos of his layout. He's got a lot of progress shots as well as expansion shots as well, and I really love showing these kinds of things where you get to see not just the finished product, but you get to see how the work was done and what they did. It really shows people how to build a model railroad. You don't just see that end product and it's full of mystery of how it was done. I love showing these kind of things. So great job, Danny B. I love seeing these kind of things. Thank you so much for sending this in. Fun fact about the different connection between model railroading and NASCAR, Lionel also makes die-cast NASCAR cars. They're the official die-cast car of NASCAR. So that is a little connection between NASCAR and model railroading. Next up, we have Pierce Barents, or I'm, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce your name, so I'm sorry if I've butchered it, but Pierce has a great little layout going on right here. He's got some videos of it as well. It's still under under construction, but it looks really, really nice. Of course, I you know I'm going to love the Norfolk Southern Power, but it also just, you can see where he's going with it, but also what he's done. He's doing a really great job taking his time. I love the way the static grass looks with this. So great job, Pierce. This looks really, really great. I think I'm going to call this section of the video the Australian Takeover. Yeah, that sounds pretty good because I've got a couple of great Australian railroads to show you guys. A lot of people don't realize how big the Australian model railroad community is. I mean, obviously, there's Luke Towen, who's one of the biggest modeling YouTubers out there and does a lot with model railroading and does HO scale dioramas and stuff. But there's a really big community that, frankly, I didn't realize was there until I started doing this YouTube channel. And it's really a neat place to see model railroading because you get this eclectic mix of motive power and rolling stock you get stuff that's either european or european style inspired or you also get north american or north american inspired and you have uniquely australian things mixed in as well so you get a lot of cool things depending on what era you're modeling in australia so let's go ahead and get this started with mark klepp he models a lot of a mix of north american power but he's from australia so he's got a uniquely australian take on this but you're gonna see a lot of North American power on his layout, but it looks just really really neat and it looks really really fun to run It's it's very compact and I didn't even realize how compact it was until I saw the wide shot I thought it was a much bigger layout. So bravo to you mark That is a great job of doing that little tricking of the eye there. So great job mark overall I really love this layout. And I love what you've done in the space that you have Next up, we have John Jenkins, and John has a great layout. I mean, it is a big old layout, and it's got just an absolutely eclectic mix of North American and Australian and all sorts of different things mixed in there. He's done a fantastic job. This thing looks like a ton of fun to run. Plus, look at it with its lighting. It is very well lit for night operations. He's done a terrific job with this. I really like this layout, and it's a lot of layout. It takes up this whole entire room you can see in this photo, and it is just a magnificent model 
model railroad love seeing this if you guys are from australia and you're watching this and you have a model railroad send me them because i'm getting great stuff from australia i want to see more australian model railroads as well as the rest of you guys so but thank you so much john for sending that in thank you all so much for sending those model railroads in i love seeing them if you want to get into the queue for having your show on or your model railroad on the virtual model railroad show you can go ahead and email me some photos and videos of those at the, at the email in the description below and you will get in the queue for that right now i'm about five months back so if you email me about five months ago that's right where i'm starting to show right now so about november of 22 is what i'm showing right now so thank you guys so so much for watching i can't wait to see some more of you guys railroads it's really really fun until next time i'm jimmy from the diy and digital stay safe be kind drink some coffee and happy railroading.